McDonald, our own megalithic tours, uh, which is a company that takes people to all sorts of ancient and mystical historical sites all over Britain and uh, also Europe. And I also run the Mysterious Earth Conference. The Mysterious Earth Conference has now been running for uh, three years. Started off in the Lake District in Windermere, and we have we have speakers for with all different aspects of uh, ancient sites and esoteric and um, historical subjects. And this year we've moved to Preston, which is where Megalithic Tours is based. We set up Mysterious Earth Conference originally. Um, it's my, it's uh, one of my passions is that history has been totally misunderstood and there's a, a lot of revisionist history uh, that can be learnt. People, um, famous names like Graham Hancock, for instance. And it's my belief that history didn't begin with the Romans, as, ever, as is generally understood, and that we had a, 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 a lush and uh, wonderful history of our own in Britain, and uh, equally around the world. And this is, this is very much missed and misunderstood. And hopefully the conference is going to go some way into correcting the balance, maybe. Hello, I'm Brian Allen, and today I'm speaking at the Mysterious Earth Conference at Preston. It's uh, perhaps an object lesson of what can happen when you mess with this sort of subject, and that, that when I was actually researching Dark Messiah, I spent a week, perhaps, uh, on the subject of the Black Mass, getting uh, sufficient information to do a chapter on it that was actually relevant to the book. And... Towards the end of that uh, piece of research, uh, just as I'd finished almost the last word of that chapter, I was sitting at my computer at the monitor and I went stone cold from the inside out, not from the outside in, and I realised that something had turned up in the room with me. Well, fortunately, I went fairly warm just soon after that and everything was fine. But the following morning, at two o'clock in the morning, I was in bed with my wife and uh, we woke up to hear the room was, we had scratching, it, well, it, this wasn't a light sort of scraping, this was a heavy, heavy scratching noise, it came from the walls, it moved to the ceiling, it moved to the floor, in fact the whole room was actually alive with the scratching, this heavy, heavy clawing noise, we had furniture getting bumped around and this is the first time in my life when I've dealt with this subject that I've actually been mortally afraid and I just froze, I just couldn't move and my wife, who obviously was hearing all this, was kind of alarmed that she wouldn't put the light on in case of what we might see. So we lay there in the dark for I guess about 20 minutes before it finally all stopped. And the following morning, and it's not the first time I've had to do this, I had to get up and cleanse the house. Uh, in other words, I had to drive this out of the house. And it fortunately didn't come back, but it's an object lesson of what can happen when you start delving into this really dangerous subject. Hi, my name's Peter Knight. I'm a Earth Mysteries in investigator. I've been doing that now for about 20 years and I live near Avery in Wiltshire. I'm here at the convention this weekend uh, to tell people about my latest book about West Kennet Longbarrow which looks into the history, uh, archaeology, excavations, ley lines, acoustics, all aspects of this wonderful Neolithic wonder. If you haven't been lucky enough to be here um, this weekend, my website is www.stoneseeker.net and I'm also on Facebook, facebook.com slash stoneseeker, where you can find out all aspects about my book and my work and also see some images from the book. Hi, I'm Jane Burrows. I'm a lecturer in Egyptology and I've been teaching it for about 31 years now. I've been giving a presentation on uh, ancient Egyptian temple mysteries where I've, we've been looking at the uh, layout, uh, purpose and function of ancient Egyptian temples. With a first degree in theology, I did quite a lot of biblical studies, which obviously involves taking the Bible and looking at it as an historical document, but looking at it critically. So you tend to look at the original texts and then see how mistranslations could have occurred. So it, it's not um, my personal opinion. It's not that I, um, that I have uh, any strong views. It's just that I'm trying to report what research has told us. Uh, my name's Paul Dorr. I'm uh, well, trained to be a teacher and uh, I'm also a qualified surveyor and I'm using my surveying skills to visit all of the stone circle sites uh, throughout the country and to survey them and, uh, and then send the plans to the Sites and Monuments Records Office for each county.
Uh, well, I was invited by Neil to give a talk on the stone circles of, across England, which, which I'm sort of uh, trying to visit systematically, uh, starting from Cornwall and working my way right up to Northumberland. Uh, and I'm about sort of 80% uh, through my research project, and it's about that I'm going to talk. The area that I think uh, is most interesting is Cumbria. There are 109 stone circle and henge sites uh, in the county, which is more than any other county. They're in quite wonderful locations, and um, I've managed at a number of sites to find lost stone circles, uh, which has been really quite thrilling. Uh, and I've been able to sort of map them and uh, locate the positions with the hope that at some stage uh, they'll be excavated and, and prove what I'm finding with the divining rods. Tours run from from Preston. Uh, this is uh, megalithic tours. We uh, we go to single from single days, uh, which uh, to cover ancient mystical historical sites around Lancashire and Derbyshire. We have weekends uh, where we have great fun over the weekend. We stay in the, stay in hotels, and lovely, wonderful little groups. Uh, we go uh, from weekends. We have long weekends around uh, Stonehenge and the crop circles. We do full week tours up to um, Scotland and even as far away as Malta and northern France. And the biggest tour is the Cathar tour, which is a great interest to mine, and that's two weeks in the Longadon. Mm-hmm. 